Imagine being able to text or send email using only your thoughts. It's more than just wishful thinking, and it's opening doors for potentially millions of people suffering from severe paralysis. CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook has tonight's American Innovation. At his home in Melbourne, Australia, 62-year-old Philip O'Keefe struggles to do the simple things many of us take for granted. Getting dressed, washing myself, feeding myself. ALS took away his ability to control his hands and body. When you heard that there was a device that could use your thoughts to operate a mouse, what did you think? I thought, this is science fiction type stuff. But it's not the realm of science fiction anymore. In April of 2020, O'Keefe became one of the first patients to receive a Stentrode brain-computer interface implant. That's the device that goes inside the blood vessel. Dr. Tom Oxley is CEO of New York City-based Synchron. We've figured out how to deliver the sensors into the brain without open brain surgery. Inserted through the jugular vein, the device is implanted in the area of the brain that controls movement. Signals captured by a receiver in the chest are sent wirelessly to a device that decodes thoughts into commands for a digital device. The clinical study that we're running is purely for digital device control for people whose hands no longer control digital devices. O'Keefe demonstrated his computer skills by writing me this note. His thoughts focused on a mouse clicking letter by letter. I can sort my emails. I can surf the web. Clinical trials are continuing, and so far, five people have received the implant, including one in New York City. This gave me a reason to keep on living, and it's just been the most exciting two years of my life. And that, to Philip O'Keefe, is mind-boggling. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.